السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my beloved brothers and sisters behind the screen for the last alhamdulillah 365 days Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us to be around and in contact and this is the beauty about of this religion of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam each and every single individual in this religion in this message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we have always to look at the positivity in our life as a matter of fact when my brothers talk to me about from ICK what we have to present for tonight's webinar I was lucky and fortunate enough to have that idea out about how to be ready for the coming few days Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah we are doing a lot of dua and prayers that Ya Rabb we're going to meet you in this coming Ramadan as if you know my brother and sisters we are coming closer to Ramadan and if you look at, if you look at the uh, the uh, topic of webinar as of tonight I made it to be something attractive and to speak about how we have to be ready the count though about the breezes the nasamat in Arabic is called nasamat because every year Ramadan it carries its own beautiful and special breezes so what we need to talk about tonight my brother and sister is that how we can learn and how we can be positive about the coming Ramadan as of this year all of us we experienced Ramadan 365 days ago and Alhamdulillah we were fortunate to to be able inshallah to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again in this year 1442 Ramadan. Most of us, especially right now in Kuwait, the announcement of the lockdown will be for 12 hours starting from Sunday from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. It will be a 12 hours lockdown and where if we look at it from the positive perspective point of view we are so much lucky that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to stay to worship him everybody recall that this month of Rajab another remaining almost 10 days of Rajab of this year is about to end in 10 days or nine days from now and then we'll go for Sha'ban and everybody knows Sha'ban is so short although it's 29 or 30 days but it comes very fast so those of us we were having some mishaps or we didn't we were not able to overcome our things during Rajab let's be energetic and be positive to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Sha'ban to be ready for Ramadan Rajab as we all of us know is that Rajab is one of those four sacred months, Ashurullah al Hurum, whom they are four. We have the Qa'da, the Hijjah, and Muharram. All of them are behind each other consecutively. And Rajab is one of those four sacred months, Ashurullah al Hurum. So the remaining 10 days, the beauty about it is that you can fast, you can do so many great worship worship acts to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the moment you try to to be nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love his, his own slaves in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yuhubbuhum wa yuhubbuna as I, I used to mention in my previous sessions or, or webinars that yuhubbuhum wa yuhubbuna that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves his own slave and the moment if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you immediately you will do all the acts which let Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring his love for you so what we need to talk tonight my dear brothers and sisters about that how to be ready for the coming Ramadan first and is the most my dear brothers and sisters just to remind myself and you whoever missed last year Ramadan if you have few days you didn't uh, fast them 
right now you have another almost 40 or 39 days. So you don't have an excuse that this year 1442 Ramadan, before Ramadan starts, you have to finish those days, missed fasting days as of last year. And we are fortunate enough that you're going to have the lockdown for a month. So those of you, you don't have any excuse that don't start this year Ramadan without finishing your last year missed fasting days as of last year. For our dearest sisters, those who have be, been having the excuses, the regular excuses for all the ladies, this is the time right now, my dear sisters, to finish your missed days as of last year. Where you're going to start a new chapter with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another thing, my dear brother and sister, is that we have to recall that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you're going to count all the positive things, all the positive vibes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will be countless. وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا If I give you now a whiteboard and divide that whiteboard into pluses and negatives or, or minuses, you can numerate and count easily what are the negative things in your life, but you will not be able to numerate and count the positive things in your life. And this is the beauty about, of our religion. Look at those people, the Western or those people are not the believers. When the COVID-19 started and the lockdowns were so much all over the world, those true believers, the true believers, I mean the Muslim people, when it comes to the lockdown, they were looking, look, they look at it from a positive point of view that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose them to stay at home, to stay away from the entertainment and to be exclusively to worship him. Because if you recall last year, most of the people, they were, we were talking to them and said, most of them, they enjoy last year Ramadan differently from the previous years. And the beauty about it is that they said, we were able to sit, still in our houses and or our apartments and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with a peaceful mind. We were not being distracted. We were not being in hurry to finish so many acts because during the previous years of Ramadan, everybody will be, they will either be at work or they were having their off days where they completely will be in their beds. But as of last year, most of the families or most, most of the people were having a very active and a, a, a proper time management for their own self to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What I would like to try, to try to bring for you tonight, my dear brothers and sisters, is that for this year, Ramadan 2021, make it a special and a different one. Most of the worldwide or most of the people right now, most probably we will go for another lockdown. And don't look at it from a negative point of view, my dear brothers and sisters. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for a purpose. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Let's think carefully about this ayah, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that he created us to worship him. And Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only to go and to do things related only for prayers, but again, to have that sit down and your checklist, your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this year, Ramadan 2021, Ramadan 1442, create your own checklist. What did you do? as of last year lockdown during Ramadan and what you are expecting to do this year. First of all, my dear brother and sister, is that again, you have to refresh, to jadid al niyyah, you have to refresh your intention, your niyyah, that Ya Rab, give us the chance to meet you again this year in Ramadan. And Ya Rab, 
don't take us away from Ramadan. In fact, sometimes I'm not talking about the death. I'm talking about that you are in Ramadan, but unfortunately you are not enjoying the worshiping acts with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The other thing, my dear brother and sister, after Niyya is that create your own timetable for your own kids, your own family member, and as well, don't forget yourself. In that timetable is that if you are in the lockdown, most of the people are the work from home, which is the online uh, working uh, uh, hours, or they will be on leave, they will be staying at home. So don't let that day and that night go without any benefit for your own sake and for your own count of hasanat. This is the number two. Number three, try to create as if so many people last year created their own places, a prayers where they can sit in a different places at their apartments or their homes. And this is very important, my dear brother and sister, is that to have a special place at home or your, uh, your apartment, it will be uh, so much without noise and it will be something you teach your kids that that area or that corner at home will be exclusively where somebody can sit and talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, anywhere at home you can pray. You can you pray in your, in your bedroom, you can pray in your living room, but to create a special room, because look at the, ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters, all of us at home, we have receptions for the visitors. But did you think that, is it the, 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 the visitors are more important from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa lillahi ma'ala? But create a special corner or a special room which, which will be for your own prayer with your family member, your husband, your, your wife, your husband, your kids. And being, if, if masjid are allowed, you can go to masjid, which is well and good. Otherwise, if you go to pray at home, try to have a special area or a special corner where you can to keep your Quran is there and create a small masjid or a, slow, a small musalla where you can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do your prayers. All the five, five prayers as well as your taraweeh and tahajjud. Another thing which is, I think, very important, my dear brother and sister, is that start from now to train yourself. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sayyidah Aisha, she said, most of the, the year, the after Ramadan, what the most important days and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to fast is during Sha'ban. So get use of Sha'ban to train yourself, to train your body, to, to acclimatize, to, uh, to, to customize your body to be ready for Ramadan. So in Sha'ban, even right now in Rajab, there are a few days because the, the Ajr in Rajab will be multiplied, not compared to like to Sha'ban. So try now, you're going to have Mondays or Thursdays during, during Rajab, the remaining few days, or even in Sha'ban, any day you can fast in Sha'ban, but if you're going to have that intention and that niyyah from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he fasts Mondays and Thursdays as well as the three wide days, Thirath Ayyam al which is 13, 14, 15 of the lunar month or the, the lunar days, which is the, the 13, 14th and 15, or any days in Sha'ban. So putting that intention and that you are doing it because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do it, he will have multiple ajr from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. This is regarding the fasting, how you can going to come. And as well, change certain habits and certain things we used to. For example, if you are among those people who used to drink a lot of coffee or caffeine in your days, this is the time to, to try to wean yourself slowly before you meet Ramadan. Because most of the people who are really addicts to caffeine, usually the few, few, the few days of Ramadan, they will immediately have that severe headache and their mood will be changing. So this is now the opportunity for you to change certain habits before Ramadan comes in. Number five, my dear brother and sister, is that 
our relationship. This is the time now to review our relationship with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with Al-Quran Al-Kareem. When we mention Al-Quran Al-Kareem, we are not mentioning only to recite the Quran Al-Kareem. Recitation is a must. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Shahr Ramadan, Shahr Al-Quran. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Sahaba and all the scholars and all the Salaf, when Ramadan comes in, immediately they put off everything and they will be exclusively meeting Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and reciting Al-Quran Al-Kareem. This is the time, my dear and sister, is that try now to have a minimum of one khatma before Ramadan comes in. You have right now remaining almost 10 days of Rajab and almost 29 or 30 days of Sha'ban. Try to have a minimum of one khatma. You can have diff different uh, countless khatma, but the minimum of one khatma is a must. Try it and do it for yourself. The other thing, my dear and sister, is that not for only adults, also try to, to convince and to try to help your kids the importance of Al-Quran Al-Kareem. Recitation is a must, as well as whatever you've been already memorizing before, this is the time to go back and to review your, uh, have a review of your, whatever you memorized before in, about Al-Quran Al-Kareem. Try to have a small tafsir, the explanation for certain ayahs of Al-Quran Al-Kareem for yourself as well as for your family member. 10 to 15 minutes every day because Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala gave us 24 hours per day. And if you are praying five times on time, is this than one hour? Just have a dedicated 10 to 15 minutes where you can read Tafsir Al-Quran either with yourself or with your family member or also with your brothers or sisters because this will again let you to be so much connected with Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala's words. Another thing my dear and sister is that and I think this is the most important for whatever I said previously, this is the most red flag things which we are suffering right now. Minimize your screen time. When I mention screen time, is I'm not talking only about the TV. Screen time means all your gadgets or your phones should be put off for certain, uh, 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 I mean, uh, applications. For example, if you are the type of addict for certain games in the, in the phones, Try to quit for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't let the, the, the games come to your mind and you will be so much addict in those games. And everybody knows himself or herself, the way how they are, I mean, behaving with the games. Another thing, my dear brother and sister, is that minimizing the screen time, even with the social networking, which I mean Facebook, Twitter, and nowadays there is something called the Clubhouse and so on and so forth. Try your best to put them off. Putting them off means delete them, take them off from your phone uh, because shaitan is there. Shaitan will come to you and will say that it's okay during Ramadan, you can go to different kind of chat rooms. They can talk about certain uh, 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 explanation of Al-Quran Al-Kareem or certain lessons about uh, um, Al-Quran or Sirah. But believe it or not, my dear brothers and sisters, if you're going to have different kind of applications, you will be distracted. Ramadan meant to worship Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala and to ask for forgiveness and for maghfirah. Before going to Ramadan, you have to ask for Tawbah from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, And we are blessed for this nation, for this Ummah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he gave us the beauty of Ramadan to forgive us and to clean all our sin as of last year, for the last 365 days. 
again, my dear sister, try during Ramadan or even before reaching Ramadan is that to have like a timetable for certain things you can discussing discussing it with your member and your your friend or your family member. How many times we sat down with our family members, our kids, and to speak about shuruta salat, the conditions that whom supposed to have a salat, which means there are there are conditions for a salat. You shouldn't go just for salat without knowing the conditions because without fulfilling those conditions, your salat will not be accepted. For example, one of the conditions is that you have to be wudu. And what is the type of wudu you have to do it? And even in wudu, there are conditions and there are things which you have to do with during wudu. So those items or those lessons should be learned and taught by you to your kids, to your spouses, because otherwise we will be asked we are not going to be able to have a complete salat properly so those things can be practiced and can be learned during the lockdown or while we are preparing to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during ramadan the other thing my dear brother and sister is that always remember that with the blessed of those days of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't think that the lockdown is something negative in fact the lockdown is something allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose us to stay connected with him so before i conclude my dear brothers and sisters what is my message is that stay connected with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and disconnect yourself away from his slaves and from his creations staying connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the existence of our life. To be connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be connected with his salat, the way how we are relating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To stay connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be connected with Al-Quran al-Kareem. To be staying connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to do our adhkar, al-sabah and al-masa. To stay connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to, for, to, to forget everything take us away from him and away from dhikr to stay connected to do a lot of istighfar for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stay connected to make a lot of dua for this ummah for this nation and don't forget that the dua for this ummah you will be rewarded the dua for all those sick people for all those people who passed away during the covid crisis and those who are suffering, either those who passed during COVID crisis or for their own families. So my message, my dear brothers and sisters, that please stay connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and disconnect yourself with all the things. Minimize your screen time. Disconnect yourself with the social networking and you will be in the good and safe hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم واستغفروه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته